just started a motorcycle club and you want to ride with no problems, I'm going to tell you why it's safe for your life to check in with the dominant MC in your neighborhood. And we're going to use the Hells Angels and the Rough Riders as a case in point. And we're going to get into it on this episode of Demons Road TV. Oh yeah, we ghosting, baby. Welcome to Demons Road TV, the holy grail of MC culture, where we cover everything motorcycle club involved. I'm Chopper Sosa, I'm your host for the evening, and we're gonna get into today, the reason why you need to check in with a dominant MC. And we're gonna use the Rough Riders and the Hells Angels meetup as the case in point. First thing I wanna tell you is, don't ever buy your patches online. I'm sorry Chicago Chuck, I know you was making a little money, but this type of shit could get you killed. So if you're new to the motorcycle club culture, I'm gonna give you the game right now. You cannot, you cannot jump on tools and ride through neighborhoods wearing a patch you bought. You can really get hurt if you're in the wrong neighborhood. Plus, you don't know what you're representing because you don't understand the culture yet. So, the reason why people check in is because you could turn around and put on a cut that is an enemy to somebody that runs the neighborhood. So, could you imagine, let's, let's, let's put it in lamest terms, could you imagine that you're in a crib neighborhood and you get down with some shit that you bought online that's all blood colors and you go into crib neighborhoods wearing your blood colors thinking nothing's gonna happen. Oh, something's gonna happen. You're gonna get hurt. So this is why I brought up the Rough Riders and the Hells Angels meetup. This is the perfect topic. The Rough Riders was deep as fuck, and look, they still got press. So the best thing to do when you're starting a new club is to check in with, find out who's running whatever neighborhood you're in, who really runs that state, that town where you're at, find out who's who, and then get the okay. It's called a blessing. Get the blessing from the dominant MC, where you're from, and you will live a lot safer life. Okay, so let's roll some footage. We're gonna get into the interview with the Rough Riders talking about when they met up with the Hells Angels, and then I'm gonna give you the inside game on it. Demons Row TV. Front. They came through night. deep as shit. And they checked us in the parking lot. They had on some sentinels. They if had, you're yeah. not who you say you are, it's going down tonight. Right it's going to be a fucking rumble in this parking lot. But by the we're end of that fucking we're. conversation, after we told them who we were, what we were about, it was more or less handshakes and fucking we went in the club. We're fucking having drinks together. Let us buy you a drink to show you that we're not fucking on any bullshit. But then they said, though, but there is one hurdle. Because now, because of making the noise, there is the other rough riders that have been here established, old school, white, long beard. You gotta remember, we're green. We don't know a lot about respect and how, you know, the, the, the pecking order, how, how things work in the bike. We're learning as we go. We're learning. We're learning as So we as got we go. called in. They said, Hell's Angels told us, look, you gotta make it right with, with these the rough guys. riders. And All right, so let's stop it there real quick. You heard what they said, there was another Rough Riders. So if you take your cut and you come up with the same name as somebody else, that could have, you could have been, let's say the Rough Riders had the craziest beef with another team. Now you assume the beef that that team who has beef with them, you assume all that beef. Like, hold on, we just want to know what's going on. And I was like, the Rough Riders, we're partying at the club. We and they're like, well, you guys, our motorcycle club, is more or less, they call it now checking in. You didn't check in with us, so we want to know who and what you're about. And uh, I'm like, yo, we're the president. And they're like, okay, so where's your patch, your rockers? They have some rockers. Shit, we're like, what do you mean rockers? Look, bro, we just rough riders, 
We're an extreme bike club. We get out here. We wild out. We do we're willies. Lifestyle, pretty At much, that point, it's like, yeah. you know, DMX fucking stop, drop. Yeah, we just kind of come in. We do the video side of that. Um, but they're expanded, but we're not an official bike club. And once we yeah. get an understanding of, okay, they're not, Rough Riders isn't an official motorcycle club. It's a lifestyle. Who rides motorcycles? Who rides motorcycles? It, it's they, a, they a record label somewhere. support team, right? Well, how does it... You would know the street team. verbiage. It's a motorcycle yeah, street, street, street team. Yeah, yeah. So you see, they're saying, oh, we're not a motorcycle club. We're just a riding team. We like to party. We like to have fun. So let's say you wanted, you started a motorcycle club. Now you tell, now you tell one of the dominants, oh, yeah, we're a motorcycle club. Now they're going to stomp your head in and all that. And you're like, what the fuck? Just because you didn't know the game. So they said, look, you guys, we need to have a sit down. They, they ran up on some of our guys that like a little bike night thing they did, like Filibertos or whatever in, in Glendale. Yep. And said, look, tell your people you need to come meet us at a clubhouse or it's war. Like it's on, right? So we, we you got to remember, we're, to the story, we That's just were out here having fun. We're mindset, 24, like, 25 like, years old. Like, we're learning as we go. Like, they give the ultimatum, you either come here or, or, or we're smash or, or whatever. Else. So you got to remember, too. So we did talk, like, shit, we're, we're like, we didn't sign up for this. We st- I'm doing wheelies a couple months <laughs> earlier. You know, I'm just <laughs> doing wheelies. That's my claim to fame. I'm Killer B. I do wheelies on Scottsdale we're Road. Doing bike Cops shit. chase me. I get away. Whatever. That's it. Like, we took the mentality of, man up. this is dumb. We're going to man up. We're going to meet them. If they fucking pull out straps at the end of the day, motherfucker, we strap too. We meet up with those guys, and it goes similar to the Hells Angels meeting. Look, we're not but no, trying but to steal your name. But no, but it's a story, though. We go to this behind, like, a trailer park It was some Sons of Anarchy Like, some shit. old Sons of Anarchy, like, clubhouse. They got Sentinels outside. They're, like, mean mugging. Everybody comes in the door. They're not... There's no friendliness. It's not like, hey guys, thanks for coming. It was like <laughs> no, inside. Was real. It was some real and they shit. They got exits. They got guys in every exit. Dudes oh, on the roof. If, like, if, yeah. if, 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 if shit goes wrong, it's going down. It's yeah. going down. You're allowed yeah. to fight your way out. So we got. You got to remember, we're walking into this. How and, many of you win? Uh, maybe eight to ten. How yeah, many of them were probably like shit? Their whole fucking club. Fifty. However many they had members at that time. Something like that. They definitely outnumber outnumber us. And you heard what he said. Only eight of his realest niggas was there. And that's how it always is. When it comes down to it, when shit hits the fan, only the real is gonna be there. Everybody else, they don't wanna get heard. They don't want no sauce. So you gotta be careful who you keep in your club. That's on a little sidebar note. So the meeting, we go in, it's like a table. So it's anarchy. It's like a freaking table. You got the you got the president, vice president, sergeant arms, all whoever, all the chain of command. Um, it's me, you, Tito, Louis, Moose, was Louis, Louis. Uh, yep. yeah. I forget. So, it's like eight, eight of the hardest members in the crew. That just, we just don't give a fuck. Like yeah. it is what it is. It's so how we it sat goes. down. But you guys all come from a background of when you're in the kids of being from. At the end of the day, you're gonna represent yeah. yourself. You're, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. And half the other members they didn't want to fucking show up. They didn't want to show up because they was worried about if it goes down. I don't. I want to go home tonight. At that time, we're young and dumb. And that shit for the fucking vest. Fuck. Go ahead. That's another spot. So we have the meeting with the Rough Riders. Everything works out. And shortly after that, uh, now when you say worked out. Well, so it, you said you left the Hells Angels kind of semi-friendly. Did you leave them neutral or kind of? It was an understanding that okay, okay you, you guys have a different name. You're not an actual motorcycle club. I don't know if a call came from Squirt where no, it was like, it, "Yo, some of the most strongest alliances, friends throughout this, from Hells Angels to uh, Vagos Soul and Brothers, Calif- it went, went to Mexico, the yeah, Vago, whatever." Few. We chose a few just Bruises. by who we were, like just being who how we, we were carried ourselves. and how, how we, we were, carry yeah. ourselves, respect, whatever. So you see, they got put in a really bad situation and that's the type of situations that can end in all kind of ways and you don't want to put yourself in those situations. So if you're going to start a new motorcycle club, an actual club, find out, do your history first. Find out, go to some bike events or something, find out who's who. You know what I mean? Like the Rough Riders were really deep and they weren't a real club. So they were able to like get out of that situation. But let's say, you know, the other Rough Riders were like wanted problems or whatever. They would have been in a bad situation, you know? But at the end of the day, everybody's men. So they would have had to hold their own. And if you feel like you, like you don't care about that and you want to hold your own, 
by all means but know what you're getting into know that what you're saying is you know what we don't give a fuck we gonna do this anyway know that don't go in not knowing what's going on do your homework on the whole entire situation and if you ever have questions hit the demons road channel chop associate boy will always look out for you do not buy patches online you will get hurt depending on what area you're at who you're around it is not safe be careful out there and let me tell you something get these demons row tees the link is in the teespring right now hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you get the notification it's right next to the subscribe button it's demons row tv the holy grail at mc culture thank you for tuning in like share subscribe boom